Hey, it's Grace here on Books and Cooks. I wanted to quickly take you through a little library haul that I did um, this past week, and then I'm going to do a try a chapter with each of these books and figure out which one I want to pick up next. Because I've been in a really strong like mood reading kind of space lately, so wanted to go through these with you. So the first one I have that I was thinking about picking up next, I actually already put a bookmark in it, but I haven't actually picked it up, which is why I wanna do this try a chapter, is The Calculating Stars by Mary Robinette Kowal, which is an alternative history version of our space race, but specifically focusing on women astronauts. And I think it's a bit of a like dystopian alternative sci-fi history, so, I'm really intrigued by that. Um, this also is the beginning of a series and I've been reading a lot of series this month so I you know we'll see if I want to pick up another one and add that on my kind of mental docket for things to read about but I am really interested in this book. And then I have Sorrowland by River Solomon if the book will stop glaring at you. Um, this is River Solomon's most recent book length work I believe. Um, and I can't remember when this was published, maybe like 2021. So I think we're probably due for another River Solomon book soon, which is exciting. I've read, yeah, 2021. I've read The Deep by them, which is a novella length work. And I'm interested in An Unkindness of Ghosts. My understanding is that this book is kind of cultish. Um, it follows a woman who's pregnant and escapes potentially from a cult and goes out into the wilderness to give birth, I believe. But there are like speculative elements to it. And so I don't know if this ends up being like science fiction, fantasy, you know, fabulism. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm really interested in this. Um, I have heard it is pretty heavy in terms of like content warnings. So that's the one thing that has kept me away from it so far, but I might be in a, a space to read something that's like a little bit scarier, um, a little bit more intense. So I'm definitely going to try the, the first chapter of that and see how I feel. The last book from my library in this haul is The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Reyes. And this has been on my TBR for a long time as well. Actually, both this book and Sorrowland by River Solomon, I added to my TBR last year after watching Adri at Perpetual Pages talk about uh, their best books of the year. And I just wanted to put a bunch of those books on my TBR. They all sounded very good, but for sure, The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School and Sorrowland made the cut in particular and ones that stuck in my head. This is, from my understanding, like a young adult contemporary story about a young woman who goes to a Catholic school. I believe she's Latine. I don't know her heritage or her specific background and she comes from like quite a catholic religious family and is also a lesbian and so she's trying to figure out like how to uh, potentially come out and you know deal with her identity um clearly while not feeling totally safe doing so in her home um she's a little bit afraid that she might be kicked out if she tells her family, which is a really common fear. And this is a book that's been widely banned and challenged in the last couple of years. In fact, I think it was the specific, um, at the specific root of some discussion in New Hampshire about banning and challenging books. The last time I checked, New Hampshire hadn't allowed a ban on any books, which I am happy about if we're going to be live free or die a state, we should definitely be against book banning. <laughs> if even if we're not doing that with other things like legalizing cannabis, we should at least not be banning books. Anyway, this looked really, really good to me and definitely one that I want to pick up. So I'm going to try a chapter from each of those. I will give you an update after my experience and let you know my thoughts and what book I plan to move forward with. All right, I just finished the first chapter of The Calculating Stars, and this was really, really good and definitely has me gripped and interested in continuing with this book. It starts out, it is, I think it's in the 1950s, like early 1950s, and there are two people, a woman who's our narrator and a man, 
up in a cabin together. They are both scientists and they had worked on um, basically like aerospace type work since World War II. And then something big happens, something like a major event. <laughs> and all of a certain part of the country is destroyed. I don't want to give it away because it's a pretty good um, kind of shocking outcome to this first chapter, but definitely very gripping. I'm enjoying the writing style. So I'm going to keep this out from the library and continue with this for sure. And so next, I think I'm going to pick up the first chapter in Sorrowland. I'll let you know my thoughts about this when I'm done. All right, so I just finished the first chapter in Sorrowland by River Solomon. And this is also a really great beginning to this story and definitely has me interested in wanting to keep this library book and continue with this book eventually. I don't know between these two, I don't know which one I'm leaning towards this because I'm just feeling like the kind of alternate history piece is really going to work for me well right now. But this is also just very engaging and we're following our main character Vern. Um, it appears that Vern is a non-binary person and a young like teenager who has been raised in this cult and fled to the woods as a, a pregnant teen to kind of escape the cult. But they are also trying to escape like general society because it seems like the world at large is in a, in tough circumstances. It sounds very similar unfortunately to the world that we currently live in so I don't know it hasn't been revealed whether things are like more dystopian <laughs> than they are in re our reality at this moment but um, not a super welcoming world to a black non-binary teenager who is escaping from a cult and has just given birth. The cult itself is um, kind of a version of a cult that I don't think I've ever seen before in a book where it is predominantly a uh, black like African-American cult and specifically came of um, a like a black power organization specifically and has now kind of become this cult environment over time. That's sort of what I'm gathering so far. It seems like this teenager was forcibly married to the cult leader. Definitely very dark subject matter that we're dealing with and intense and, and scary situation, but um, pretty, pretty good so far, definitely. I love River Solomon's writing, so I am already like really kind of pulled into the story and I'm excited to continue. All right, we're, we'll start the last chapter from The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School. I'm still leaning towards right now starting with this book, but we'll see if this decides what I'm going to pick up next. I read the first chapter of The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School by Sonora Reyes, and I'm also really enjoying the beginning of this book. This is a young adult contemporary following, I think, Yamalita? Yes, or Yamalet, Yamalet Flores, who is a Mexican-American girl. I think she's 16 when this book begins. And the opening chapter lets you know that she has recently been outed by her best friend um, at the public school that she attended. And so because of that and a number of other factors having to do with her brother, some things going on with him, she has told her mom that she wants to go to the Catholic school and her brother's going to go to the local Catholic school as well. And she's going to try to stay under the radar and not come out at this, this point. Her mother's quite religious. And so we already have that kind of coming up in this first chapter that her mother has, um, is, you know, very religious, very Catholic, has a lot of like religious iconography around the house. And Yamalet is feeling guilty about hiding the fact that she is a lesbian, but also doesn't feel comfortable or safe coming out, which is why she's going through these hoops to try to hide it. So that's what we're kind of introduced to first. I feel like this is going to have a really nice brother-sister relationship, which is one of my favorite things in any book, but especially like a young adult book. I really appreciate 
brother-sister dynamics in particular, sibling dynamics. I like the way that this is written. It's very accessible and, you know, really fun to follow this person's point of view so far. So definitely we'll continue with this. But the verdict on what I'm going to start out with at this point, I am going to continue with the calculating stars. I just think the ending of the first chapter was so intense. I like have to know where we're going next, what's happening next. And I am continuing on with my sci-fi mood that I'm trying to kind of bring into 2024. So I'm excited to continue with this. And then after that, I will plan on picking up one of these two books, but both of them I'm very excited to continue with um, once I do get to them. And I think they're going to be great picks. So yeah, thank you for coming with me on this library haul, try a chapter little video. I hope it was enjoyable for you. Let me know if you read any of these books down below and what your thoughts were. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.